Hello everyone, welcome to the Green Academy. In this video, we are going to see interview questions on constructor. This is very important topic in Java. Constructor means having same name as that of class name and it is similar like a method, except it doesn't have written type. This is just a brief introduction of a constructor. So let's move on to the questions. So first question here on the screen, what is a constructor in Java? So very basic. Constructor, it is a special method where doesn't have a return type and same name as that of class. Let me show you the example just to make things clear before going to next questions. So let's say there is class A, then this is a constructor because name is same this name and this name is same and there is no return type that's why it is same so it's very simple <clears throat> okay so moving to next question how is constructor different from a method yes it is different from method because method has return type in constructor as well as in method you can write any kind of logic that is not a problem but from method you can return something if you need to from constructor you cannot return anything method can have any name whereas constructor must have same name as that of class method can be inherited constructor cannot be method can be overridden constructor cannot be so remember these differences while explaining this question's answer next question can a class have multiple constructors yes answer is yes Anyway, default constructor is there and you can have multiple constructors as well with different arguments. It, it might be uh, called as constructor overloading. I'll show you the example. <clears throat> Let's say there is class A. We can have multiple constructor as well. This is default constructor and we can have another constructor like this. So multiple constructor is also possible. This is first constructor and this is second. What is the rule? Rule is very simple. Argument should be different because it's like a overloading. Next question. Explain the difference between a default constructor and a parameterized constructor. Just refer my uh, previous question, you will get an answer. But if I want to say something about this, this is a default constructor. Now, what is this default constructor? It's an automatic. But when automatic, when you don't put any kind of constructor that time it is automatic it's very simple auto automatically jvm will be putting there at the time of compilation automatically constructor will be put onto the into the byte code can a constructor have a written type answer is no if you give written type it becomes a method it is treated as a normal method you need to call that method by creating an object as that of ordinary method it's very simple no it's not possible to have written type in a constructor how is a constructor invoked in java so constructor invoked by using like this a a new a so here here constructor will be invoked automatically this constructor will be invoked if you write like this then this constructor will be invoked so it's very simple argumented constructor we invoke by putting in parameters arguments whereas default constructor without putting an arguments so now let's move to the next question what happens if you don't provide a constructor in class automatically jvm, JVM will be put uh, <coughs> jvm will be putting an constructor constructor access specifier same as that of class they will be putting and there will be no arguments inside a parameter can you have a both default constructor and a parameterized constructor in a same class answer is yes refer my previous questions the clarity will be there. Explain the concept of constructor overloading. Same which I told you, this is constructor overloading, which I already done here. This is constructor overloading. What is happening here? One constructor have different arguments, another have different arguments, both having same name. Being a constructor, obviously it will be having a same name. Very simple. Next. Can a constructor call another constructor of the same class? How? There are two ways. One, if you refer my another video of super and this, there you will be getting this answer. But still, I want to explain this to you. This is one constructor in a class and this is another constructor in a class. So there are two ways. One is simply do like this. 
the constructor will get called another way is like this you can do this will also call i mean to say from here also this constructor will get called and from here also this constructor will call only rule for this is you must have this line at first line of constructor refer my super this interview questions video there you will be seeing that answer moving to next question the next question is what is the purpose of static block in java and how it is related to constructor this is very important this is very important let's move on to this question in detail class a is there and there is a constructor like this so whenever you are creating an object a a new a this constructor will get invoked but before to that if you have static block then this block will get invoked first and this will get invoked later this is a sequence we think that constructor will only get called first but that's not true static block block will get called first move to next question now the next question is explain the difference between instance initialization block and a constructor we have already seen static block now in this question in this question uh, how we need to tackle see here this is a constructor that you already know this is static block now let's say we have three things in a class like class a is there there we can have constructor also there we can have static block also and there we can have non static block then what would be the sequence if we go for calling it this is very tricky question guys so you should be explaining it very properly so let's say i create an object like this a a new a in this case what is going to get called first so first will be this second will be this and third will be this so this is a sequence static block will get called first then non static block this is non static or instance block object level this is class level block so what would be the sequence first static block then non static block and then constructor if you create again one object this is one more tricky thing you should be explaining to interview then remember then remember this block will not get called again because this is already get got called by this line so what was first output one then two and then three now when again you write this line in that case in that case this block will get executed and constructor will get executed this will not get called again it's very simple move to next question next question is and this is last question can a constructor be declared as a private answer is yes what is the significance of making private constructor see if constructor is private i'll explain this this is very important even for experienced people class a is there if you make it private private a now nobody can no one can call this constructor that means no one can create an object from outside but if from this class obviously object can be created so this is one thing if you want to stop others from creating an object of your class you must be making your constructor as a private another thing if you are a experienced person then another reason you can tell to achieve singleton design pattern to achieve singleton design pattern you can use private constructor on singleton design pattern we will be bringing new series that you can take from our website so this is all about our questions for constructor those are very important i have covered for freshers as well as experience let's uh, meet in next video thank you